Hi, Grandma's hands. This is my Renaissance Grandma, and I am attempting to make a burger. I have made many burgers over the years, and I just cannot get the texture that I'm looking for. I eat them after I make them because I don't want to waste all my ingredients, but they're just not what I'm looking for. So I'm trying something different. Um, right here, I have vegetables from my hydroponic garden, which is kale, bok choy, and basil. I have chickpeas. I have brown rice. I have arrowroot mushrooms, hemp seeds, and Lady V spices, okay? Okay, I'm going to have to put some broth in here because there's nothing in here that's wet, nothing at all. So, I'm going to put some veggie broth in it. And see if what I could do with this. I do have some flour on the side. So I can help mold this because I don't think it's going to mold on its own. Okay, so I have a little bit of flour. There are many ways you can make homemade burgers. You can just Google and see if you can, or YouTube, and see if you can find one. I have tried a lot of them and I did not like it. So I am constantly trying to find one that I like. And the main problem is, number one, I can't do beans like that. And then sometimes the beans are so mushy that oh my god i'm not one of them people that say i'm a texture person but when it comes to burger i am a texture person i do not like the center of my burger being mushy and that's what happens from when you make these with the beans you also can make these with the um the vegetable i mean the uh pecans or nuts and then you either cannot get it too mushy when you're blending up the nuts or if you don't blend them up all the way then sometimes they come out um with little hard chips in it and i don't want that either oh i forgot to put a little i have no salt in these whatsoever so Okay, that's a nice burger. With my, uh, I got a little bit of oil in there. I only made a small batch because when I am experimenting, I don't want to be messing up a lot of um, product which I do still have some left that I didn't even put in here. So if they turn out, I can make more. But the center, I, get, I can get them pretty. I can get them taste good. But that center, my, 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 that's a, um, that does it for me. If I bite into that center and it is mushy, and every time I try to make them with those um, beans, they are mushy. So not only are they mushy, then I have to be concerned about, okay, 
or these going to come back to haunt me because of my stomach. And I usually use the um, uh, oyster mushrooms, which I did decide that was probably a problem that was making them too tender as well. So I did not use the oyster mushrooms this time. I don't know if that grease is ready. I wanted to, even though I make these all the time, I decided to go ahead and videotape this one because if it comes out, I will have documentation of what to do to make more. So I am hoping that this, they are making noise in the background. I'm so sorry if you hear all that. I usually tell them when I'm videotaping, but I didn't this time. probably didn't put enough oil in there. As you can see, it's not that much in there. And you know, these are plant-based burgers. So you know, they don't make their own grease like regular burgers does. Cameras is, is it? Let me put it back. I'm going to bring that closer so you can see. Okay, this is on three. Let me take it down to two. I usually cook the vegetables first, but I did not this time. But we'll see, like I said, I'm always trying something different until I can come with something that I really like. So this is just a little trial. All I need is for that center to not be mushy.
Yeah, it smelled good. Like I said before, when cooking vegan food, you can, you can actually, if you didn't put the flour in it, you can actually eat it raw. A lot of people that do that raw, when they're on the uh, raw diet, they would have, they could have just balled that up and ate it just as it was. I'm not there yet. I am a very visual person. So I cannot eat nothing that looks raw, even though I know it's still cooked. Because I did cook the um, chickpeas. I did cook the brown rice. Um, and the vegetables were not cooked. And the mushrooms were not cooked. So that's why I'm just keeping them in here a little longer. There's actually no more oil left in here. They smell very good though. But I'm moving back up to three. So we can get up into the middle of it. I have tried this so many ways. I think I actually have videos out where I made this a different way. I mean, because you can put beets in it, just if you want to give it the little red color of meat. You can put oats in it. Um, you could do the rice like I did. You can do the nuts. There's so many different ways you can do this. And I just keep trying all of them so I can get it where I can enjoy it. And like I said, every time I make one and I'm not pleased with it, I still eat it because I don't want to waste it, but it's not where I want it. And I'm going to continue to try to get it right where I want it. I don't know what it's going to take. Oh, it smells really good though. I don't know what's smelling that good. I didn't put onions in it, which I, oh man, I forgot to put my garlic. Well, I got enough greenery in there. I usually put my garlic tops in there but I didn't, but I think it's enough greenery in there. And they are done. But I wanna make sure and I like a little crunch. That is one of the biggest things that I miss being plant-based. Is a nice burger with lettuce and tomatoes and pickles and onions. That is that and sandwiches are the two things I miss as plant-based. So that's why I do a lot of wraps because I'm always trying to mock a sandwich because I miss them so much. But I do miss a good old burger.
Okay. I think that's good enough. And I think a lot of times my problem be that I try them as soon as they come out. But I think you actually need to let them cool off a bit. So I might try to do that. I'm going to take one out so it can start cooling down. So I can see if that helps the um, There we go. It smells really good. So I'm going to turn that off. smells so good. Okay. It's still not cool off enough, but I can't let it keep going. Okay, that's what the inside looks like. So, let's see what it's going to feel like to my teeth. Hmm, okay. It's not mushy. And it is super duper tasty. So even though I didn't put salt in it, it's still tasty. And I guess it's from the vegetables and the spices. I taste that basil. And see, this is still hot. It probably won't be this soft after they cool. So, okay, that's not bad. That's not bad at all. But I'm going to see how they do after they cool off. Thank you for watching. I pray for you, you pray for me, and we'll watch God change things. God bless everybody.